So my name is Ryan Plassey, and I am a graduate student, PhD student here in Native Studies. And one of the things that we do to earn our letters is we read a lot of books. And so what I'm going to do is, uh, uh, I'm, I'm less of a speaker than I am a reader. And so I will uh, try my best to entertain you as I... Uh, speak a little bit more about this notion of, of sharing, this notion of treaty, and then to explore a little bit about um, the evolution of Canada as a place where um, quite evidently this has not happened, that the, the intent of the treaties was, uh, was not respected. I'm just going to try to carry this up. Paul. Thank you very much. So I want first to begin by acknowledging that we here on Win in Winnipeg are standing on Treaty 1 territory. And that is significant, that that actually has meaning. Uh, the original settlement here in this area was conducted by some Scottish settlers led by a fellow who went by the title of Lord Selkirk. And he came to this area to start a settlement with the uh, poor Highland Scots. And what he needed to do, of course, was to gain title to the land. And this story is interesting because <clears throat> when we talk about title, like Lord, for example, and other types of title, like um, having uh, a deed to a piece of property, then we start to talk about um, questions of, well, if I'm to gain title to the land, then who am I to gain title from? In other words, who is the, who is the owner? And then we can talk all day about different philosophies of ownership and different conceptions of, of ownership. But what is evident was that there were two entities that felt that the land was vested somehow in them. Charles was talking about the king. Uh, king Charles, in 1670, was sitting in his uh, wonderfully uh, ill-ventilated castle over in the um, very uh, humid island across the Atlantic. And he looked at himself, and he looked at his title, and he said, you know, I'm the king. It's good to be the king. And he woke up one day, and he said, you know what? In my name, any of my subjects who go forth around the world to find the riches, to find the gold. Remember, they were looking for a passage to China, to India, for the spice trade, for gold, right? In my name, whosoever shall find a piece of unoccupied land shall claim it for me. And uh, could you imagine the power to do